it's Dr. Joseph Ayala at Sanio Center for Integrative Medicine, and today I wanted to talk about GMOs. A lot is going on as far as news on GMOs, and a lot of people don't understand exactly what it means. So GMO actually stands for Genetically Modified Organism, and the organisms that we're talking about are food at this point because they have modified some salmon, but today I just want to talk about vegetables and, and uh, some fruits, mostly vegetables and then wheats. Wheat, sorry. So basically, genetically modified food had been a concept around for multiple years, and when they finally understand it, understood genetic engineering, they were able to get in and change the genome or the genetics and the chromosomes of these plants. And originally the idea had a nice ring to it because it was thought, well, maybe if they can, they can genetically modify a plant to be resistant to a certain type of insect eating it, then that would be a benefit to that plant and we could grow more of it and it would last longer and we wouldn't need to use pesticides. But unfortunately what's happened is the big companies like Monsanto have changed the way that they're conceiving their genetic modification and they've actually created genetic modifications in their seeds which then grow into full plants that make the plants resistant to their Roundup herbicide which is glyphosate. Now glyphosate is an endocrine disruptor which means it messes with your hormones, it messes with your bacteria and your intestinal tract and it also messes with your brain neuro neurologically. So now what's happened is they create this wheat product that is resistant to glyphosate poisoning. So now they're able to spray a whole lot more glyphosate on the crops, which kill the, the weeds around it, but theoretically don't kill the wheat, and then it's easier to harvest these things. But what happens is they are unable to wash out the glyphosate from these crops, and the glyphosate gets in the water source now, which is which is actually a big problem because there's glyphosate in virtually every source of water in every city in the country. Um, this is a big issue because now the food we're eating has a lot of these. So if you're not eating organic, that's why organic is incredibly important because then you won't be getting these pesticides and herbicides theoretically. Um, the crops that are now currently GMO that you need to be significantly concerned about are corn, soy, and wheat. Those are the ones that are sprayed, that are modified to be resistant to glyphosate, so they're very heavily sprayed. I don't think that the glyphosate ever comes out of it, and when you eat those things, you're also consuming glyphosate. That is not healthy, and that's why when you see GMO, it is a big problem. Now, the Senate has made it more difficult to find out if your food has GMO because you're supposed to look at some barcode on the food through your phone to see if it actually is GMO. So be really careful when you're shopping and, and check your supermarkets and ask them possibly can they stop buying the GMO modified food that has the glyphosate in it or can it be better marked? So this is Dr. Joseph Aiello trying to give you a PSA, a public service announcement on why eating GMO is a problem and how to stay healthy and avoid it. This is Dr. Aiello at San Diego Center for Integrative Medicine and we're here for you.